In technology, an important concept is that of links and their characteristics. When we talk about a link, we are referring to how two parts of an object, called components, are linked together. A link is therefore a basic mechanical function that connects one part to another, thus allowing the object to function properly. Links are present in almost all objects. In fact, it's very rare that an object is designed out of a single piece. We can find links in complex objects such as a motor or a clock, or in other simple objects such as a spoon or a chair. Links are defined according to four characteristics. A link is either direct or indirect, removable or permanent, non-removable, flexible or rigid, and complete or partial. For example, a link could be direct, permanent, rigid, and complete. An indirect link involves a linking component to hold the two parts together. The linking component is an intermediate unit, which can be, for example, glue, a nail, or a rivet. On the other hand, when the link is direct, the two parts don't require a linking component to be fastened together. In other words, the two parts fit together. This clothespin is made of two wooden pieces linked together by a spring. In the clothespin, there is a linking component, so it is an indirect link. Here, there is no linking component to hold the bottle and its cap together. These two pieces fit together, so it's a direct link. A link can also be removable or permanent. For it to be removable, it must be possible to separate the parts without breaking the object or the linking component. If one of the two parts or the linking component gets broken, the link is therefore permanent. Here, the pieces of wood and the spring can be taken apart without breaking any part. The link is therefore removable. On the other hand, the cap and the bottle cannot be separated without breaking one or the other. To remove the cap, we must either contort it with a bottle opener or break the bottle. The link is therefore permanent. A link can also be flexible or rigid. A flexible link contains a flexible linking component, such as a spring, a rubber band, or a piece of rubber. This linking component ensures a range of motion between the two parts through deformation. In other words, the parts of the object return to their initial position. In a rigid link, the two parts are directly connected to each other, or with a linking component, and do not allow a return motion. These two parts of the clothespin are held together by a linking component, the spring, which is flexible. The spring allows the two parts of the wood to return to their initial position. The link between these two parts is therefore flexible. On the other hand, the link between the bottle and its cap doesn't contain a flexible linking component, which would allow the parts to return to their initial position after a motion. The link between these two parts is therefore rigid. Finally, a link may be partial or complete. A partial link allows motions between the two parts, while a complete link allows no motion at all. The link between the two wooden parts of this clothespin allow for a motion intended to pinch clothes. The link is therefore partial. In this case, the link allows for rotational guiding of the wooden pieces. On the contrary, the bottle and cap cannot be moved once they are joined together. Hence, the link between these two parts is complete. We can therefore define any link in a technical object using four of these characteristics.